What? Good YouTube, and welcome to the house. This should dispel any rumors over the cyber strike structure that getting cancelled. I had so many people coming into live streams asking me if it would, and this is why I typically don't report on rumors. Although I have also heard, oh, the card stock could be shorted, then maybe it's not going to be there. They have released the official event game mat for this structure that Konami has, and that event is usually you take sealed structure decks, you play against each other, whoever is either lucky or more skilled able to outplay with basic Ungabunga Yu-Gi-Oh! ends up winning one of these mats through about three rounds. And the mat does look really freaking nice. And with that, guess what's getting bought out? Of course, Infinite Impermanence! It's been going for the past couple of days with the Dual Overload version especially targeted as the mid-rarity, even though Dual Power is also ultra. And who wants to play with the gold rare? I actually really like the USA Premium Golds out of Maximum Gold, personally, but this is also why Konami finally legalized double sleeving, I would think, not just the Starlights. So be aware, if you're buying these copies, you're probably signing up to double sleeve so that your cards aren't findable in that, because they are a little thickums. Now, with this, I wouldn't be shocked if it missed the structure deck, but I also would be disappointed because it fits the Thimality. We already know Konami's likely to pull Lightning Storm, and this is also getting an ultimate rare, so having one of the highest rarities in the game followed by a lowest rarity would be nice, but also at the same time, we've been so jaded with Konami pulling out cards from structure decks. The gold rare was the first non-short print of it ever, though, so I think they're done selling it to some degree, but then again, they pulled evenly matched out of the Charmer structure deck when there was no freaking reason for that to help sell ghosts from the past. Who knows with Konami. So people speculating throwing money despite a confirmation on the way. And I do almost feel like it's a coin flip, but I'm more in favor that I hope that it does end up in the structure deck, and I think that it will to quell the lightning storm pull. Kind of like how Dark Rule and the more still ended up in the Charmer structure. But yeah, this drops in mid-October, so there's still times to go. Speculation to be had, and people to freak out and spend their money ahead of time trying to make Big Brain 5 head the calls when there could be a potential reprint. As Tekapede has a double down buyout, we covered a lot of the Battle Wasp and Insect buyouts. We've covered this before, but it's even more up there. There, it only has a couple of printings. So if you have this in bulk, it's now a $10 card from Phantom Darkness, one of those top sets of all time. Sealed is worth so freaking much, so I don't blame any rare out of there like old sets have been doing that actually sees a little bit of play, and people are speculating on B-Troopers coming up in Burst of Destiny, but man, this is ridiculous. I personally wouldn't be spending the money. I would definitely be selling at this price, and now Konami probably has it on their OTS reprint radar or something like that. We'll wait and see. Donna Majesty and introduced a lot of synchro type archetypal hype and then you also have legendary duelist 8 coming forward not a lot of changes have been happening here ready fusions up a couple of dollars a luber settling where it's been b troopers a lot of people speculating not too much things have been moving though but what it has caused is stuff like junk converter we already covered this on the channel along with junk synchron going up even further here out of legendary duelist 6 and legendary duelist 6 has no shortage of buyouts right now between souls and dark magician stuff and this other cards that i read i'm like wow i see why those are going lower in quantity like synchro chase is actually when you read it on paper sounds good probably not the best in practice and then you also see gaga ga magician over here gaga ga, ga ga my bad my bad over towards 250 and actually selling out of coffees please just give us legendary duel of season three but also cards like junk archer that i haven't covered are way up there in price it only has an ultra rare and then a super rare out of five d's collection a duelist pack and a $30 MSRP lock product that never got a reprint. So yeah, he's up there in prices. People just speculate away on certain cards. Let me know if you play Junk Archer and your Synchro deck and the why, or if this is just for niche past format to play for you. But Cyber Synchron, a rare out of Savage Strike, this is a rare a lot of you guys are much more likely to have and then even though it was worth money in your bulk. I love bringing cards like that onto Market Watch. It's around $6 before. It is quickly 7 and is seeing play in a ton of different Synchro builds. Synchron by name, also a tuner, and it's a Cyber, so like, it has everything going 
time for and a good effect that reads once per turn you can target a level four or lower monster you control increase its level by its original level until the end of this turn if your opponent's monster or monsters in the extra monster zone will be destroyed by battle or card effect uh you no, your monster is not opponent my bad if your monsters in the extra monster zone that would be destroyed by battle or card effect banish this from your graveyard instead so a secondary good effect on top of being a tuner zhang zhang rudy rose continues to go up with speculation for that deck some people like to play it some don't i was listening to db grinder actually talk about this last night on his live stream and also for zhang zhang so this is now 20 instead of 18 actually climbing with enlightening overdrive which is so thirsty for value but also has generic uses throughout synchro decks ghost mortar is a card that he was playing against token collector as he played a little bit of zhang zhang and it was really impressive to watch the future format it was struggling a lot against tri brigade though the secret rares are at 18 dollars and have a really good sales rates the past couple of days a lot of people seem to be on this you see a lot of sales at 16 now it seems only available around 18 but with el dorado coming i want you to remind I want to remind you, sorry, I have to go quick through this market watch. I have a appointment coming up. Ghost Mourner has an altar art in the OCG, and this is going to introduce 10 more cards with complete makeovers, and I have a hard time believing that it's altar art wouldn't be gold rare to match the other Ghost Sisters, so I definitely do see that coming with this card. So Ghost Mourner is definitely something to think about. Like, if I'm spending money now, there's not only the Mega Tens that has to dodge for the original art, but there's also going to be the Gold Series up ahead that could have the altar art. A lot of people don't remember that it got a really cool looking altar art, honestly, and that's something to remember. Genesis Impact has had no shortage of buyouts yet stays extremely stagnant for the sealed. What did I tell you? Even if the cards are going crazy, the sealed will be the last thing drug up because guess what? The collector rares, whenever you're looking for a specific collector rare, are one out of every four cases. 15 boxes because there's 15 different collectors. So we have the live twins the actual not evil twins, the live twins getting bought out here alongside the buyouts that are now cooling off on the evil twins as we approach burst of destiny. Is the deck real? It's pretty good, but is it going to be taking over? Probably not. If you're participating in these buyouts, make sure you're not just after the formality of, oh yeah, Konami gets the kids these days with the VTubers and I'm really... Look, if you're spending this kind of money on them and you're going in at price points of 80 90 going crazy up to these actual sales that led to the buyout somebody spent 160 i didn't click this yet dude if you guys are spending money freaking like this on this you better be sure you love the play style and have tested it out on a free simulator like dueling book or over on Yu-Gi-Oh or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh pro I'm losing it. I'm actually losing it to one of those sold. You get the raw feelings. And over here, uh, looks a little more sane. We see around the $90 and even $100 sales as it's around the 100 So, just more of the same buyouts, but in different areas concerning live and evil twins. Quantities that want to easily replenish themselves, but also probably partially bought in speculation to make money. So, I would expect to see some of them hit back in the market and people undercut each other rather than just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going in, man. This is, these are my girls. I don't know that that's all of the people spending their money on it, but let me know in the collection or in the comments section down below if you are going after these and if they're what you actually want to be playing slash you just wanted to collect them because you do think they're neat. Dragons of Legend, the complete series, has had some price spikes. I was looking up Dragon from the Discord suggestions, and then I thought of you know number a hundred, which is about the same as it actually has been, but is extremely low quantities for I believe it's regular ultra rare. Again, that color gimmick green blue purple people would rather just have the gold name it's so funny that that's the point of the product and people will buy that last but i was looking through toon kingdom is up in price for several different versions of it and also other cards are going up a little i would highly consider if you want a hollow foil version of eye of tamias getting it sooner than later with the upcoming battles of chaos and you have the new tamias support because this card really does get targeted hard that whenever it ends up leaving the market and there are so few copies of each of these for a set that really wasn't opened all that much that has also been going up sealed and people don't have a real incentive to end up going after this and busting it open like they would other products because of the pull rates and they don't know which version of a card they're going to get that kind of stuff so dragons has slowly gone back up towards msrp lucky for it i suppose and has slowly been going off the market from speculation but the singles inside are going up faster again this is why sealed versus singles 
if you know what shots you're calling, if you know how you're going in, there's more money to be made in the singles, but you really have to still speculate, gamble, roll those dice. Not a financial advisor channel. I don't know which cards are going to go up. I don't have time traveling info brokers, but you can look at the repeated cycle of, ah, new support. This seems like it's going to go. This seems like it could, and sometimes it's going to go nowhere. Sometimes it's going to go down. But a lot of the times, once you start getting the feel for things, you can make those calls right. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Sorry to keep it fast and fast talking. Maybe very interesting to watch on 1.5x speed and a couple of stumbles, but I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation, and I'll see you tonight on live stream.